I have to tell you this story about something that happened this morning at the gym. We're all in there. We just started the workout. 19, no, sorry, 20 power cleans. And you know, 20 power cleans and they're heavy power cleans. I was using 95 and it was recommended that we use 135. Don't judge me. Don't you do it. Anyway, we're supposed to be using 135. I was using 95. And then every now and again, I'd get tired. I'd string five or 10 of them together and I'd get tired and drop it. Like you do, we got those rubber bumpers and the really high tensile bars and they're made to be dropped. And so we're all dropping them. And all of a sudden this guy, a really, really giant of a man, is, um, starts screaming at us. Just hear this massive voice from the other end of the room, booming, why are you dropping the bars? He didn't know, I mean, I'm not even exaggerating. I bet it was louder than that. And I'll also bet that it was scarier than that. So I, he yelled it a couple times. I didn't hear him the first time or two. I never hear what he was saying. I heard him yell. But then I finally looked over and he locked eyes with me. He yells, why are you dropping the bars? I'm like, it's okay. We got rubber bumpers and rubber floors. We're fine. Why are you dropping them? I'm like, it's okay. We're supposed to drop them. Why are you dropping them? Are you too weak? And he's screaming, are you just too weak to put them down? And so I try to answer again. He's like, he, he just says the same thing. Are you too weak? Super challenging, super angry. Like his face was all red. And so I thought, you know what? I gotta go talk to this guy. So I put the bar down, interrupting my precious workout. I know, that's hilarious. Anyway, I go walking over there to talk to him and he's too mad. He won't really talk to me. He's He's lighting me up. He's like, you're really breaking equipment. You're terrible on the machinery. And and I, I don't know. The same things that they, if you've ever owned a gym, you've always hollered that at people and you made sure that people didn't drop the weights. But you know, these weights that we use, they're supposed to be dropped. They are, they're supposed to be. He's like, why are you doing it? You guys just too weak to do it? I'm like, no, listen, this is a lifting technique that some people use to gain the benefits of the power clean. This is a power clean. It's part of a, uh, it's part of an Olympic sport. And if you've ever seen those guys do it on the Olympics, in on TV on the Olympics, you've seen them drop the bar. Yeah, but they're doing a one max effort. I go, I know, I know they are. And it's good that they did drop it. I go, but you see what they're doing. And I pointed to some of the guys out there, especially Leslie and some that have really great technique. Even Trevor's got great technique now. Anyway, they were jumping the bar up and I say, see the power that it takes to launch that bar, to jump that bar up to the catch. I go, it takes a lot of effort to do that and a big coordinated effort and there's some magic fitness in that. And I go, from there, the only thing harder than that, that, the, that it takes all that explosiveness, the only thing harder than that is putting the bar down under control. And even though most of the time we should put it down under control, it's very acceptable to drop it because the acceleration of gravity against that bar is, uh, it, it has the potential for injury and you'd hate to be injured during a put down. Putting the bar down, I got injured. That's ridiculous, so we drop it. Anyway, I was teaching him some of these principles. He goes, yeah, but why? Why don't you just lighten it up, lighten up the bar and do a weight that you can always keep under your control? And, and I thought about it for a minute and, and then I was like, well, here's the deal. There's health in it. It's that simple. To lift heavy increases production of testosterone. Yes, ladies, you have testosterone too. It increases production of growth hormones, certain adrenals, and these are magic hormones. They build muscle and they make you more, I don't know, they give you that charge that it strengthens your skin and keeps you youthful. And it's magic. And that kind of an effort is the only way to get it. And so um, I told him, I said, the reason we dropped the bar is because pulling it up with that much momentum and that much power has health benefits that we aren't willing to leave on the table. So part of my Philosophic Friday is to let you know why we drop the bar. One, we do it for safety, because for hell's sakes, you'd hate to be hurt in the down. Putting a bar back to the floor, um, you'd hate to be hurt there. And why don't we just find a way we can manage? It's because there's health in it and there's strength in it. And I hope in the future, you'll use weights that are just barely manageable in the up and then drop them on the down. Well, if your gym is equipped for it. If it's not, please don't break their equipment, it's bad. Anyway, that's my Philosophical Friday. If you are interested in the finest workouts on earth, please go to gppfitness.com and subscribe. Otherwise, um, if you're already subscribed, please share it with a friend. That would help us a ton and we'd appreciate that. Have a happy new year, everybody.